Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first Orange Bowl huddle episode of the 2023 season. I'm your host, Mike Cuno, sports anchor for CBS Miami, and we're delighted to have you here with us. And guess what? This is just the beginning of something really special. Today, I'm here with Dr. San Giovanni, orthopedic surgeon at Baptist Health, and well-recognized for his expertise in both foot and ankle sports medicine, as well as Dr. Yvonne jo Johnson Phillips, chief medical officer at South Miami Hospital, part of Baptist Health, and the current Orange Bowl Committee president. Thank you both for being here. Now, we have seen some outstanding performances thus far during the 20th 2023 college football season and things are only going to heat up. I mean, we're preparing for, of course, the playoff, the national championship as well, and the Orange Bowl here. But that all starts with preps before the season. So I want to start with Dr. San Giovanni first, because I know players got to get their body, got to get their mind right for these games, for these long years. But first, how did you get started in orthopedics? Well, um, my uh, entry in orthopedics was really a combination of mm -hmm. interests that I have. Um, I was an athlete myself uh, growing up in New Jersey with soccer and uh, actually all sports back then. And, uh, and it was just something that kind of combined my, my interests and skills. Mm -hmm. I also liked woodworking. So the two <laughs> just, the two just kind of merged and right. it was a great field to go into. So you get to work with athletes all the time now. What's, right. what's that like? Oh, uh, it's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, it's, it's wonderful. It's, um, it's lively. It's fun. Uh, it's an active, um, you know, it's active as well. So it's, it's good seeing their discipline, their, uh, the competition, um, all in all, it's just a, it's a great field to be into. Yeah, you know, to put this in kind of football or sports terms, we're entering the fourth quarter of the college football season right now. We're getting ready for conference championships. Obviously, again, the playoffs going to be going to be big now. But what are you seeing from athletes in terms of getting their mind and bodies ready for this stretch run? Yeah, and preparedness is is key to any anything anything in life. Um, so I think from a physical um, from a physical standpoint. Uh, you know, get, having a balanced uh, routine of, of strength, endurance, flexibility. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of them are doing that. Um, proper nutrition, hydration is, is paramount. I think um, from a mental standpoint, I would say mental standpoint, you have to kind of get whatever whatever's your groove. You have to have a pre-game routine mm -hmm. uh, that works for you. Um, you know, practice mindfulness and uh, something that's going to get you focused, um, to enhance your focus and, and uh, you know fortitude through that game. Sure. When you deal and with sleep, yeah, I would say the last thing say. would be sleep. It would be <laughs> both for mental and yeah. physical is is key important. Is that the balance? Because I, I go to imagine you know trying to work through the physical can sometimes be mentally draining. So when you're with these athletes, what kind of balance do you see them striking with these two things? Yeah, I think um, it's it's well once again it's, it's personalized mm -hmm. from a standpoint of customizing what they need to do, but but they just have to find that balance. Yeah, you know. I, you got to practice as you as you fight you know what I mean so you, they have to really be prepared for these type of games um, and uh, I think a lot of them are doing that nowadays yeah when, a, when an athlete's sitting in your office and they ask you for advice for how to kind of manage these things what, what are some of your words of wisdom I think a lot of it's discipline and, and setting up a routine and it, it's hard for many of us right mm -hmm. but I think when you see when you look at the elite athletes um, they, they really have keen focus and it is always usually, uh, you know, they have talent, of course, but then there's also discipline and, and the routine. And is, I'm guessing that's the same, whether you're preparing for the Orange Bowl or for the Miami Marathon, if you're just, you know, an average athlete out there, I'm guessing some of those words of wisdom, you know, carry over to, I would say the average layperson or the average athlete, I guess. Right. You can be an average athlete and if you practice the, the right way, right, you can, you could really enhance yourself. And you can be a great athlete and you cannot do that and not reach your potential. You hear that? Preparation's key, everybody. Dr. San Giovanni says so. I mean, you gotta get your mind right. As, as the kids are saying, get your mentals right. I hear those in, in press conferences yeah. all the time as well. I do wanna move over to Dr. Yvonne Johnson Phillips now. Uh, you're obviously playing a big role in the Orange Bowl here with Baptist Health. Obviously, you're the Chief Medical Officer at South Miami Hospitals. How do you, how does all this come together? The community, the Orange Bowl, all these events? Well, I think both Baptist Health mm -hmm. and the Orange Bowl are outstanding community partners. Um, both are focused on enhancing the um, lifestyle of, of uh, and the health and well-being of the South Florida community. So it's a, it's a great partnership. 
can you go more into the partnership with the community in terms of the events that will be leading up to the big game itself? Well, you know, coming up just this weekend, we have our Orange Bowl 5K, yeah. um, which is over on Miami Beach and, you know, beautiful setting for uh, getting out and getting your walk on. You know, Baptist is a great partner uh, and uh Orange Bowl has a uh, initiative called Orange Bowl Cares. We do uh, have pillars um, that support students, support uh, education, support community engagement, and our legacies, like our legacy parks. Yeah. And so we have renovated parks uh, all throughout the southern uh, Florida, through Palm Beach, Broward, and Miami-Dade County, all the way down to Homestead. And these are parks that are utilized not just by athletes like playing football, but you even see community sure. uh, people walking the tracks, you know, the uh, of all ages. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those programs that the Orange Bowl game helps the Orange Bowl committee support throughout the, through the community and Baptist Health is a partner of ours that allows us to, you know, engage in, in the community and provide all of those different kinds of services. And that's a very real thing because when I'm out and I'm doing stories, whether it's Pop Warner or high school football, you see the Orange Bowl sign, you see the Orange Bowl logo places. You mentioned the 5K. Do you have Dr. San Giovanni on, we, on, we need on to speed have dial just, there, exactly. just, in, just in case someone starts limping around, <laughs> limping around out well, there? Well, I will tell you definitely from the game standpoint with yeah, the Orange yeah. Bowl game. Yeah. We have been partners for, you know, almost a decade or more, least, right? At wow. least a decade yeah, yeah. where San, Dr. San Giovanni and his team yeah. of orthopedic surgeons mm -hmm. and, and fellows come out and they serve as liaisons with the orthopedic doctors and other doctors for the teams. Yes. So, you know, yeah. they are there to make sure that if there is an injury, yeah. if we have an athlete that needs services, you know, they right. have those imaging or other uh, surgical services available. See, this is why you guys are pros. You've definitely been doing this a lot longer together. I'm just a new guy on the desk because my next question was, how does the world of healthcare and football combine? And I mean, you just you just answered the question. And that, well, that's one part of it, but uh, you know, it's not just athletes that come down for the Orange Bowl. Mm -hmm. We invite, you know, the, the coaches, their families, the families of the athletes. Yeah. Um, so they yeah. have a lot of different needs. Yeah. It's not just orthopedic needs, sure. uh, you know, and at our partnership with Baptist allows us to mm -hmm. provide kind of a concierge like uh, service for um, those healthcare needs, whether, you know, whatever it happens to be. I want to, I want to ask you both the same question. What do you look forward to the most when it comes to the Orange Bowl? Because it's one of, if not the longest running live event in Miami. So yeah. I mean, it's this is historic stuff here. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I would say it's a historic event. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, something I think that identifies with all South Florida for since I was a kid. That was my favorite bowl to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, for me, what's been exciting is being um, the part of the Orange Bowl, mm -hmm. you know, looking forward to the game. You know, I'm uh, president this year, so, you yeah. know, I look at this as my Orange Bowl, but as a, I'm also the first, pre, uh, the first physician mm -hmm. serving as president. So, oh, yes. you know, I'm, I'm very proud to represent Baptist Health as um, <laughs> the leader of the Orange Bowl <laughs> as well. So it's great. So you know, the world of healthcare very, and football really, it, it really, yeah, really it's coming. really coming together. Yeah. No better this person year. either. It, you know, to work so with. Well, I'm, I'm glad you excited. mentioned no better person because you yeah. got the jacket on. We were joking earlier. I was like, I'm like, <laughs> get one of those orange shit. Oh, I, I will <laughs> tell you. a lot of you. commitment, <laughs> right? <laughs> I will tell you, it's commitment to the South Florida community. Yes. It, it, it really yeah. is. And, yeah. you know, that's what Orange Bowl is about. Um, we're going to have our big game. That's, you know, our big annual celebration. But really, the game is just the means that we use to provide the, the community services and all of the community engagement that yeah. we do. Yeah. And we're really proud to, yeah. you know, have Dr. San Giovanni <laughs> and all of Baptist Health as our partners. Well, listen, as a South Florida local, this game has meant a lot, not only to you guys, the community, but, but even myself. So it's very honored to be asked to do this because, you know, you grow up watching the Orange yep. Bowl. Uh, end of the year, those December, January time rolls around. It's bowl season and it's the exciting. Orange Bowl. And it's just, it's just cool to let everyone know yeah. that it's so much more than just a game. And as I mentioned, yeah. when we're out doing stories in the community, you see the Orange Bowl logo, you start to see the impact. 
And obviously you two have a huge, huge part in that. So thank you very much to both of you. Thank Great. You. Thank you for having us. Now the game's going to take place December 30th, 2023 with a 4 p.m. kickoff. We cannot wait to see who takes the field for this year's Orange Bowl Championship title at Hard Rock Stadium. It's coming very soon. <laughs> That's going to do it for our first 2023 episode of the Orange Bowl Huddle. Big thank you to both of you again, Dr. San Giovanni <laughs> and Dr. Von johnson Phillips, for joining us. And thank you, the viewers, for tuning in. I'm Mike Cuno. I cannot wait to see you next time. We're going to have a couple teams to talk about pretty soon. We'll get inch closer and closer to that game. Uh, make sure you check us out, Orange Bowl Huddle. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you both right. very much. Great. Thank you. Thank you.